Angela Yee and Jasmine Brand is here. I'm not just any brand. I'm my own brand. Good morning, Angela. Good morning. It is a Wednesday, Mm -hmm. so that's nice for everybody who's listening. That means if it's the work week for you, half the work week is done. Mm -hmm. I don't know when everybody's schedule is now. Yeah. People are all over the place. I think we always assume people work Monday through Friday. Right. But a lot of people don't. Yeah. Some people work from home on Friday. All right. Well, we got a lot of things happening. Being that it's Wednesday, it's also a Wealth Wednesday. Okay. And we have Herman Dulce joining us, a.k.a. the Haitian CEO. This is a great timing for me because I have a lot of things going on with uh, my businesses. Right. And he's talking about business credit. Okay. And that's something that I've been... Um, Who are you talking about that? I actually am in the midst of, of doing everything with my business credit card. And, you know, I, I used to think that I didn't want to mess up my credit. But mm-hmm. he has a lot of information on business credit and why it doesn't affect your personal credit. And why credit is so important. Yep. But in the meantime, let's get this show started. Let's shine a light. 800-292-5150. I have somebody I want to shine a light on this morning. Okay. It was a great way mm. to start this Wednesday. But who do you want to spread some love to? Call us up and let us know when we come back. Let's shine a light. 800-292-5150. Turn your lights on, y'all. Turn your lights on. Spreading love to those who are doing greatness. Shine a light on them. Shine a light on them. It's time to shine a light on them. It's way up with Angela Yee. I'm here. Jasmine Brand is here. I'm not just any brand. I'm my own brand. Yes. And today we were walking into the building Mm -hmm. and standing outside. Uh Uh-huh. Was Jim Kerr. Okay. He is a morning radio personality, but he has a milestone himself. Yes. He has 50 years in morning radio here in New York, the number one market for radio. Wow. He's the longest running morning radio personality in the history of all of New York. That's 50, a huge 50 deal. Years? And he just celebrated that 50 years of morning radio. And when I tell you everybody was on board helping him celebrate, uh, the mayor, Eric mm-hmm. Adams, but wow. Howard Stern was on board, John Bon Jovi. It was like a huge wow. celebration that was going on. We got a lot of free food. <laughs> I remember. No, I think you guys were talking about it. Yeah, thanks to Jim Kerr. We had free food up here mm-hmm. like nonstop, but thank you for that. Uh, Billy Joe celebrated with him. I mean, it's amazing. But what I love is the fact that I was walking in this morning. Right. And he was like, I was listening to your show in the Uber. The driver had the show on and you sound great. You guys sound amazing. It's positive. It's mm-hmm. upbeat. All of the things that we wanted to do for Way Up with Angela Yee. And so I appreciate that acknowledgement. I was like, coming from a legend like Jim Kerr, yeah. that was amazing. So we want to make sure that we acknowledge and celebrate Jim Kerr 50 years doing morning radio. That is amazing that really is a legend i did it for 18 years and i was like all right (laughs) (laughs) all right i'm not i'm not breaking that record but um (laughs) thank you so much for that we celebrate you jim kerr now who do you guys want to spread some love to shayla who do you want to shine a light on i want to shine a light on zariana beck and nicholas miller okay Oh, and Desiree Fuller, because they're my family and I love them. And I'm the Pappy. And Nick is my best friend. <laughs> so, the, what is who in the background? Yeah, who is that? <laughs> That's me I'm in the, the background. I'm the Pappy. Tell us why they deserve a light shine on them, though. Give us some more information. they super supportive. They make every day easy for me. Okay. And, and Nick is just a, a cool guy. Mm. I met him at work, and now we cool. Ooh. Wait, now hold on. Yeah, what, yeah. We, now you met at work. Now you're cool. Now we cool. So is that like day? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's, it's, is this it's new? Work, it's work bay. It's work bay right now. Oh, just work bay. <laughs> yeah, damn. Oh my goodness. <laughs> What goes on outside of work, though? Ooh, all right, work back. Uh, all right, this is getting messy. Yeah. <laughs> Shine a light on everybody and their work bay. Right. We appreciate you for calling. Thank you. Thank right, you, bye-bye. guys. That was Shine a Light, 800-292-5150, just in case you couldn't get through. And when we come back, we have your Yeezy. And we got to start it off today with some unfortunate news for NBA Youngboy. We'll discuss it when we come back. It's Way Up. Way Up. <laughs> Just like to talk like they Angela Yee, like they Angela Yee. Man, she's spilling it all. This is Yee T. Way up. It's way up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. Jasmine Brand is here. I'm not just any brand. I'm my own brand. 
Yes. Yeet time. And mm -hmm. this is unfortunate news. NBA young boy has been arrested Yikes. in Utah on several charges. He actually got arrested yesterday, according to these records, mm -hmm. um, at around 6.30 p.m. And he was taken into custody on the following charges. Pattern of unlawful activity, procuring or attempting to procure drug and prescription, identity fraud, forgery, possession of other controlled substances, and possession of a dangerous weapon by a restricted person. Mm. That sounds serious. He's awaiting trial for federal gun charges, and um, he was indicted in March of 2021 after allegedly being found with two guns during an incident in Baton Rouge. 16 people were arrested on drug and firearm charges while filming a music video in an abandoned lot. He's been serving house arrest in Utah, and we've all seen that, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, he has surve there's surveillance there as a security firm that's staffed by military veterans. They did lessen the conditions of his house arrest mm -hmm. in December to allow him access to mental health treatments, but they denied him more time in the recording studio because he was saying that record sales have suffered due to his lockdown, but no bail has been set for him right now. Okay. Man, that's really sad. Yeah. I actually spent a lot of time with young boy in Baton Rouge. Yeah. And, I mean, there were a lot of things he talked about off camera, but I do feel like this has just been a tough time. I mean, they had him yeah. in Utah, separated from everybody, mm -hmm. not letting him, uh, you know, work to the way that he needs to. Another person that got arrested, and he's been on lip service before, too, Young and Ace. He mm -hmm. was arrested during a traffic stop, and police found seven firearms in the vehicle. He is in jail after being arrested on Monday. So he was pulled over around 8.30 p.m. in Jacksonville Beach before being arrested and booked into Duval County Jail. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Seven, seven's kind of a lot. <laughs> right. And the vehicle was a rental, so the okay. driver was also arrested for driving while his license was invalid. Okay. And they said of the seven firearms, uh, they said that he had a constructive possession of three handguns, including one semi-automatic gun that was loaded with armor-piercing ammunition. Sheesh. Oh, my goodness. All right. Guys. All right. And Ryan Garcia is now claiming that he identifies as a woman in a post that he did. Uh, uh, and this is all ahead of this fight that's going to be happening on Saturday at mm -hmm. the Barclays. And so um, he said, Devin touched me without my consent. I'm suing him for putting his hands on me and I identify as a woman. Oh my so God. he touched me as a grown man and hit a grown woman. And I'm LGBTQ plus. So now it's a hate crime. But now, wait a minute. Okay. Um, and they also got into a pushing match. Well, I wouldn't call it a pushing match. Devin Haney did end up pushing Ryan Garcia. Right. Now, Devin Haney has said mm -hmm. that Ryan Garcia has said some unforgivable things to him. Right. And we did interview Devin Haney that aired yesterday. He said they will never be friends. They are not cool. They've known each other since they were like 10. Yeah. Here's what else Devin Haney had to say about Ryan Garcia. We've been rivals since we were young kids. But, um, you know, with this whole build up and just the way that he just been going about his approach after the fight, we don't got to talk it's over with his whole approach everything was it's been totally wrong you know some unwritten rules that you just you know not to do like what? You know what i'm not gonna speak on the ones okay. that he did he, he said endless <laughs> things to where it's just it's deeper than than a fight ryan garcia also tweeted out bro i thought he was going for a kiss no cap oh. diddy got him good devin oh whispered gosh. in my ear saying come do me like diddy daddy oh. pretty weird oh he tweeted this out angela yeah. This is like watching a reality show. And this is the two of them on the top of the Empire State Building. This uh, Devin Haney ended up shoving Ryan Garcia. I don't know what he said to him. He must have said something wild. I think, yeah. I well, mean, can't be I'm wilder. Gonna repeat it, but can't here, be wilder than this stuff. Here's what that sounded like. No, we oh, we don't have it? Okay. Mets. All right. Well, anyway, that was, oh, the Mets game, yeah. And they were supposed to go throw the, the first pitch out at the Mets game, and that didn't happen. Security didn't feel comfortable after what happened at the Empire State Building with that pushing match. But when we come back, we have about last night. That was your ET. And um, we'll talk about what we did last night. There's a lot going on. Yeah. And, and so we'll discuss. I had you still watching um, Baby Reindeer. You got to finish that I yesterday. Did. And then we had to watch Unlocked. It's way up. <laughs> so about last night. Last night. Here's how it went down. Last night. All right. It's way up. I'm Angela Yee. Jasmine Brand is here. Yes. Um, so, what we did last night, first, uh, we finished Baby Reindeer. Yes, I had to catch up with you, and then we finished What'd it. What'd you think of it? It's a true story. I, I liked it, but I, I didn't like the ending. I'm gonna keep it a buck. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. On yeah. Netflix. It's eight episodes, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. The other thing that we started watching was Unlocked, a jail experiment. Right. Those are the like number one and two titles on Netflix <laughs> right now. It's fascinating. I actually too. watched a lot of Unlocked already, but I was like in and out of the room. So yes. the whole idea was an experiment mm-hmm. um, where they would allow the inmates to be able to walk around so unlocked yeah. so they wouldn't be locked in but if they mess up then they would end the experiment and, and this, so, was in, this was in Arkansas yeah this was in Arkansas mm-hmm. it was over six weeks eight episodes 46 inmates are documented with that authority uh, mm-hmm. to, to walk around in Pulaski County Regional Detention Facility in Little Rock Arkansas right and so what the idea behind this experiment was is to see what would happen when these unit cells were unlocked for six weeks and they felt like this could perhaps make the facility safer right? and to be able to make them accountable but empower them at the same time. What did you think so far while you were watching this? Well, I watched a few episodes and it's very fascinating how different groups, who runs the group and who, you know, like the different roles and it seemed like it was like the older generation versus the younger generation. This is like, you know, it was kind of like politics in there it's like a it's just, it was interesting and it was interesting I was fascinated by people doing drugs in jail right <laughs> and then it was a lot of the old heads versus the young heads too yeah that's what uh, I was saying that's yeah, what you said. Yeah. yeah so that that was a lot of like the theme of what was going on but it actually reminds me of this book that I had to read when I was younger mm-hmm. it's called um, Discipline and Punish okay by Michelle Foucault and it's about um, have you heard this word panopticism no what does that mean it means that you never know when you're being watched, so you kind of do what you're supposed to do because mm. maybe you'll get in trouble or maybe you won't. It's kind of how we govern ourselves in everyday life. Like, right. why do you brush your teeth every day? Because you're told that you're supposed to yes, do it. My mama told me to. <laughs> yeah, so, um, you know, that that's what they talk about. But anyway, interesting experiment to watch. We're going to finish that up. Um, that was about last night. And when we come back, it's time for Tell Us a Secret. Mm. You know, we didn't have that on Monday because we were too busy talking about beef between rappers. And, yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And it's still going on, and we're going to talk about that some more. But we want you guys to tell us a secret. Y'all have these secrets that have been overflowing in your brains and in your hearts <laughs> all week long. And it's now Wednesday hump day. We want to hear your secrets. 800-292-5150 is the number. Call us up. Tell us a secret. Again, that's 800-292-5150. It's way up. This is a judgment-free zone. Tell us a secret. All right, it's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. Jasmine Brand is here. Yes. We tell each other secrets all the time with no judgment. We do. And that's why we want you all to join the circle of trust. Mm. Where you call us up, you tell us a secret, 800-292-5150. We don't judge you. Nope. And it stays between us yes. and the millions of people who will see it after this. Absolutely. All right? 800-292-5150. Anonymous caller, what's your secret? Okay, my secret is I am pregnant to my husband and he is in a federal prison. Ooh, okay. Uh-oh. So, wait, how long has he been in federal prison? For seven years. Okay, so you've been having your conjugal visits? Our own, yes. <laughs> so you guys have been sneaking? We've been sneaking. Wait, how do you get conjugal visits when you're married? Only on, in certain states, certain jails. Okay, so how do you sneak and have sex? Aren't people there, like, monitoring? Um, if I feel like if I get too in detailed, I might okay. like okay. start getting investigated. Oh, okay, okay, uh, okay. Yeah. okay. We're not trying to get that. Well, congratulations. Yeah, yeah. are you excited? Yes, I am. Man. So is he. When is oh, he getting home? <laughs> He'll be home in about eighteen months. Oh, How far okay. along are you? I am seven weeks. Seven. Oh, that's really early. Yeah. Okay. Well, congratulations yeah. on that. I'm glad y'all was able to make that happen secretly. How can, yeah, that's how do you sneak in? I'm trying to think visually. What? How do you pull that off? Y'all, y'all did good. Yeah. Up, but hey. Absolutely. Was he on unlocked? It was fine. No, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait, you don't work there, do you? No, I don't work there. Okay, just make sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks for calling level. and sharing with us. Congrats. I wonder yeah. what they're gonna name the baby. Yeah. Hey, Anonymous Caller, how are you? Hey, how you doing? You want to tell us a secret? I mean, it's been a long, it's been a, um, it's been a long year secret. Mm, okay. okay. So um, I'm trying to get some help on, um, so I'm in two relationships with these two different girls. And um, I've been with them for like 10, 9 years. I don't know how to get out of it. So you want to get out of both or you want to get out of one of them? I need to get out of both. Mm, why both? Yeah. It's time to cut it off now. It's been a long time. Do you have somebody else or you want to be alone? Yeah, kind of want to be alone. Okay, I'm not mad at that. They, and they've never caught you sure. a, a nine to ten years? 
I mean, one of them know about it. One of them know about, you know, but the one girl don't. Do you like one of them better? No, I like both. How are you going to do it? I don't know. I figured you'd give me some help. All right, so I'll be <laughs> girl number one, Jasmine. I'll be girl, your, number, yeah, two. I'll be girl <laughs> number two. All right. <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right, go ahead. Tell us how you're going to do it. Hey, I missed you today. <laughs> you a laugh? it was like that, though. <laughs> Okay, just, just, just start. You're not playing along. Listen, you got to start telling girl number one, you got to just break up with her really fast. Hey, you're acting so funny. Is everything okay? No, nah, I think things okay. What, what's the matter? I don't think things working out with me and you. <gasps> no! <laughs> okay, so be prepared for that reaction, okay? Why? What did I do? Yeah. Did I do something wrong? No, nah, you didn't. I think it's me. Oh, my God. Typical guy talks. It's not, it's me, not it's you. you. It's me. Yeah. Is there someone else? Nah, I just um, I just feel like maybe you deserve somebody else better. I don't buy this, but whatever. <laughs> Never call me again. Lose my number. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. See, it wasn't too that bad. Yeah, hey, just repeat that with the second girl. You'll be good. All right. Well, that was acting at its finest. Thank I thank you guys for calling us up for Tell Us a Secret 800-292-5150. In case you couldn't get through, we'll still take your messages. And we have your YT when we come back. All right, we might be over this Drake versus Rick Ross. Yes, we might be. We'll tell you what happened yesterday. It's way up. They say it's truth in the room. Ah! From industry shade to all the gossip. Out, Simmel. Angela's spilling that yee tea. Talk to him. It's way up. I'm Angela Yee. Jasmine Brand is here. I'm not just any brand. I'm my own brand. Yes. All right, now Channing Crowder has some issues with Drake as we're about to get into all of the beef that's been going on. Mm -hmm. And he was actually at um, an event. He was at the concert. Right. And it was the It's All a Blur Big as the What Tour. Mm -hmm. He was there with his wife. They had a suite. And apparently Drake (laughs) managed to pick out his wife in the crowd (laughs) and point at her. And here is what Channing Crowder had to say about this whole incident that happened. And he was flying around in some little cage looking weird with some weird clothes on. And he pointed to the box I was in, pointed straight at my wife and said, lady in the green, she fine as hell. And I don't play that, Hawk. That's my lady for 15 years. Hey, Drake, you better get you better get out that cage and come on over here. We got to talk about this. Mm-mm-mm. I saw the video. She's pretty. Yeah. And he, he said, hey, future and Metro, I see why y'all still don't trust him. This man was shooting at my baby from the air. Let me in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You think he's serious? I mean, Jake maybe didn't realize that they would. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't know. She's pretty. She is pretty, though. But Drake is known for, for that. Yeah, he'll, he was. He was. Just, some yeah, people girl. are saying that's yeah what some <laughs> of the issues are about right now. Now, Drake posted some of his exchanges with Rick Ross. Yes. Um, and these are DMs, by the way. Mm hmm. So he DM'd, um, I mean, this is a lot, but basically he was saying, you're a Star Island house on a sliver of cheesecake, and you put a wrap on your timeshare jet. I don't even, <laughs> listen, this is like too rich for me. Yeah, These conversations, rich people arguing like, is you're hilarious. You're not going to diss me about my private jet. Or about my mansion on being Island. on a sliver. Yeah. I'm like, I'm just excited to be here. <laughs> but he said, imagine you having $88 million to spend on a crib. You're, it should be like steals. You got them from a police auction. Your Star Island house on a sliver of cheesecake. Your lot, 40,000 square feet. My crib, 40,000 square feet, Leonard. And you put a wrap on your time chair. You Brett Barish worker. That's the guy who is um, the owner and founder of... Um, the Bel Air champagne, among other brands. Okay. He said, How many cases you got to move before you get a check finally? Oh. It probably took a lifetime to see some real bread. You're Brett's son now. You're not Rose anymore. Oh, my goodness. This is really is two rich people arguing. And then he told Rick Ross, You're sandwiched in, which is on brand, because the vacant land, not yours. This is the Miami starter pack. You're living in a content creator crib. <laughs> <laughs> now, that was funny. It is, but I'm like, I'll take it. I, oh, oh. <laughs> Of, of course. These are like rich, rich people arguments. I know. All right, because here is what Rick Ross had to say uh, back to Drake, because he said that Drake even has a uh, ghostwriter for his Instagrams. <laughs> I know why Drake don't do what I do when I talk and he don't talk. He'll take a picture and post because he got ghostwriters for his <laughs> captions. Come on, BBL Drizzy, just pick your phone up and talk to the people. All right. In addition to that, um, okay, he says that uh, Rick Ross says that Birdman has been struggling, and Aww. and why isn't Drake helping him out? White boy, white boy, BBL Drizzy, I got a question. I saw you posted you got more money than Ricky Rose, and let's assume you did. Well, your best friend, Birdman, his house went into foreclosure five years ago. 
You done watch that man struggle them five years and then get that man a mansion. Mm. Okay, well, I mean, this is all out of my league financially, but what is what is Rick Ross net worth? So I did a deep dive. Rick Ross is allegedly worth forty five million. Okay, not bad. Okay, and Drake is allegedly worth two hundred and fifty million. Okay. <laughs> you know, the, this is the internet, so. Right. Four, 45 million, 250 million. Who's <laughs> yeah, counting? Yeah. How many millions are we worth? <laughs> okay. Well, I know. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys, um, you know, it's kind of out of touch for me, but that's it. That's the beef. <laughs> All right. That is your. Um, <sighs> That is your UT. And when we come back, we have Under the Radar. These are the stories that are not necessarily in the headlines. This is more my vibe right here. Red Lobster is <laughs> yes. talking about the, the filing for those bankruptcy. Biscuits, those biscuits are This is great. a Cheddar Bay Biscuits, mm-hmm. okay? No more. I think you can get them in the supermarket. <laughs> okay. See, this is our level of yes, conversation. Yes, yes. Uh, in the meantime, let's hear some Wale and Miguel, some Lotus Flower Bomb. It's way up. Listen to news that relates to you. These stories are flying under the radar. It's way up. I'm Angela Yee. Jasmine Brand is here. Yes. And this has been going on for some time now, but Red Lobster has been struggling due to expensive labor and leases on restaurants. The other thing that they did is they're saying that they lost $11 million for their endless shrimp promotion. Mm, I can Uh, see that. Yeah. Everybody will take advantage of an uh, endless shrimp promotion. Mm -hmm. Um, So now they're talking about a bankruptcy and some people are having some jokes about it. Okay. But, you know, those Cheddar Bay Biscuits, that is definitely... I don't even eat seafood, yeah. but I will go there for that. I bought the um, the biscuit mix at the, from the grocery store. I haven't made them yet, but um, I'm going to see how close they taste to the real the restaurant Red Lobster. And, you know, since we're talking fast food, Wendy's, this um, Wendy's that was in Michigan, mm-hmm. this uh, Wendy's actually is now being sued, a $20 million lawsuit. An 11-year-old girl says that the conditions at Wendy's severely... Um, Cause an infection with an E. coli related disease. Mm. All right. Aspen Lamper stopped at this Wendy's and ordered a hamburger, chicken nuggets and fries. Okay. After softball practice. And uh, their daughter ended up in the hospital three days later fighting for her life with diarrhea, abdominal cramps, oh. blood in her stool. Oh, no. And that is all from that infection. And then they said she had significant brain swelling. She had seizures. Oh. Yes. While in the hospital and left sided paralysis. Can you imagine? I definitely have had nuggets and fries from Wendy's. Right. Well, this particular one. Yeah, I know. And that's what's really tough is mm-hmm. the quality control of one place could be amazing. And then you go yeah. someplace where uh, things aren't being kept up to code yeah. and up to par. Poor and little girl. It cannot be sanitary. Yeah. All right. So they said it was a disgusting place and there were some immediate health risks. One inspector said that this Wendy's was dirty at an excessive end of the spectrum. Mm. They found mold and mildew throughout the restaurant and food prepping stations leaking water throughout mm. the building, oh. some flowing over electrical areas, filthy cutting boards and food slicing stations, moldy and spoiled food that had not been thrown out and was decaying in uh, the fridge overnight. Just Yuck. terrible conditions. All right. Well, that is your Under the Radar. And when we come back, we got the Way It Mix for you. Plus, we got a Wealth Wednesday with the Haitian CEO, Herman Dulce. He'll be talking to you about business credits and how you can do that to help fund your business. It's Way Up. Yo, she about to blow the lid up off this pot. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Angela's spilling that yee tea. Come and get the tea. It's way up. That's what we should have been having tea just now. Jasmine Brand is here. <laughs> hey. I'm not just any brand. I'm my own brand. This place at iHeart is set up for failure. I know. I'm supposed to be like, okay, watching my diet. We got to go to St. Thomas Carnival. Yes, we And do. I was like, we're not going to eat. And then here we are eating, eating. parm. Yeah. And then there's Jasmine's Caribbean downstairs. And then yesterday we had... Mario Carbone yes. just catered food for us. I yeah. mean, yeah, it's ridiculous. But at least, thank you, at least guys. We've, been, we've been walking a little bit. It's so. good food, though. We had Say Less yesterday Amazing here. Amazing food, it. yeah. Yeah. All right, now let's get into some Yee Tea. Mm-hmm. So G Depp is now out of jail. We talked about this before. Yes. Um, and he said that he still wants to work with Diddy. And Diddy didn't visit him while he was in prison, but mm. he's hoping that they can reconnect. He did his first interview with the Art of Dialogue. Okay. And here's what he had to say. And I'm like, when? When did that happen? We were in the studio like for months on end with each other. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I, I you know, I don't I don't know where this is coming from. People should, you know, give people, you know, the benefit of the doubt. If somebody just saying that you did something, you know, people could say anything. Got a lot of songs, bro. I'm looking for you, you know, so we could get, you know, some type of musical situation going. If you recall, G. Depp spent over a decade in prison. This was for a fatal shooting 
that happened in 1993, and then he ended up turning himself in, and that's when he found out the man died. Right, yeah, I remember So that's that. why he ended up going to jail. He confessed to that murder and got 15 years to life in prison, mm-hmm. and that got clemency after 13 years by the governor. It feels like he just wants to do music with Diddy. <laughs> yeah. I don't, everybody's like, is someone going to tell him? Right. <laughs> All right, Coyle Ray. Uh, you know, Adrian Broner was trying to shoot his shot mm-hmm. on live, and so she on live dissed him. <laughs> he had written, I'm on your body. Be at my next fight in Miami, May 31st at the Hard Rock on me. And mm-hmm. here's what she had to say after this. Try to bag me on an Instagram live is f- crazy. Like, get the f- on. I'm not interested. That's f-ing corny. I'm going, I'm getting f- off. Yeah, so she was turned off. Yeah, she did not appreciate that. <laughs> that isn't the bet. What I'm gonna do? Go, get on live. You know what? If you liked him, it would have been cute. Yeah, it works. It yeah, it works. Into- anything is cute when you like somebody. Yes, but anything. when you're like the answers are hard. No. Yeah, you're like mm, that's corny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tony Braxton recently talked about finding out that she had lupus. It took a while for her to get diagnosed, and we all know how important it is to make sure when your health isn't right and when you know something is wrong to get the proper diagnosis. Right. Um, here's what she had to say about finding out after multiple visits to the doctor. She recently said this. I met Dr. Wallace in 2007 after years of trying to figure out what was wrong with me. Um, Lupus can be very challenging and difficult to diagnose because everything has to line up and no one could diagnose me except for this man right here. How many doctors did you see? Oh, at least six. How many years later? Yes, almost (gasps) 10 years. 10 years to get a diagnosis for lupus. Yes. Yeah. Can you imagine that? That had to be so frustrating. And think about how many people go through something like this and may not even know. Or don't have the resources to go see six more than one doctor, you know? Yeah. And according to Tony Braxton, she said she was told to hide that she had lupus. Mm, okay. You know, just because of her position as an entertainer. Yeah. Uh, she said, and this was on the She MD podcast, she said management told her that. She yeah. said nobody gets insured. And I couldn't get insured. And she said people get scared around six celebrities. So imagine having this and not being able to even talk about it. Yeah. And speaking of podcasts, Memphis Bleak has entered the podcast game. Mm -hmm. He has a new podcast called Rock as an ROC Uh Solid, by the way. So just letting y'all know that. Okay. Um, He unveiled that this is happening and it's part of the Drink Champs Network. So he's going to be doing that um, coming soon. And there's a, a trailer out in case you guys are interested. Will you have Dame Dash on here? Hell yeah. Death of a dynasty. I hated it. You think it'll ever be a Rockefeller reunion tour? You no, think it's no. possible? No, absolutely. This is an episode of Rock Solid. You make sure you stay tuned. There's more to come. Hmm. All right. All right. That'll be an interesting conversation. Well, that is your Yee T. And when we come back, we have Ask Yee. 800 292 5150. You know, if you have any questions, where to help you out, we cannot help you with your dietary needs because we can't even help ourselves. <laughs> it's way up. Whether it's relationship or career advice, Angela's dropping facts. So you should know. You should know. This is Ask Yee. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. Jasmine Brand is here. Yes. Let's help some people. Okay. All right. It's time for Ask Yee. 800-292-5150. And today's caller is anonymous. What's up, girl? Hey. Hey, what is your question today for Ask Yee? I've been with someone for almost two years. And I just not feeling them. And I don't know what to say. Like, they're a good person, but it's just not working. It's not your person. Yeah. All right. So two years. When did you start feeling like this? Well, they wasn't my type at first, and then I tried to, like, grow on them. What made you even decide you wanted to try if you wasn't really feeling it? Because I'm used to thug, and he's not a thug. Oh, used to a thug. Is he, like, a nerd or something? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You want a good guy. She wanted to try something different. Yeah. Okay. That happens. So, just maybe, is it like a you're not physically attracted to him, or is this his personality? Like, what is it exactly? Tell me the things you like about him, and then the things you don't like. I like everything about him. I think it's just me. Ooh. Have you been cheating? No, no, no. Oh, okay, well, that's good. But you're so you're thinking that it's you, so maybe you guys will break up and then you'll regret it? No, I think when we break up, I think I'll be happy. Oh, okay. Be happy if they break up. Well, it sounds like you know what you need to do. Pull the trigger. Well, I want to lose a good guy. Oh my girl. Listen, you're going to lose him anyway. You're not even happy in the relationship. If you're not happy, there's no way he's going to end up being happy. And you can't force yourself to like somebody who you don't like. I've tried it before. It does not work. It can work temporarily. You could try to convince yourself, I should be with this person for these reasons. But if your heart's not in it, it's not in it. And also, you would, if it was the other way around, if someone really wasn't into you, you would want them to let you go. Yeah, 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 it's true. But it's not an easy thing to do, for sure. Girl, because he really likes me. Aww. 
Well, he'll well, really like somebody else. You're yeah. not the first. You're not the let, first girl if he's you ever let liked. Somebody <laughs> set them free. If mm-hmm. you want him to be happy in his life, and you know you're not the one, let him be able to do that. Yeah. If you care at all, that's the kind thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. It it's not it easy. Is. Have mercy on him. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Angela. <laughs> Good luck. Okay, and you deserve you. happiness, too. You both do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. Aww. All right. Thank you for calling. Good luck. Uh, All right. Well, that was Ask Ye, 800-292-5150, in case you couldn't get through. Jasmine, you ever try to force yourself to like someone? 100%. Okay. We all do it. <laughs> yeah. You guys do it, too. Don't yep. front like it's just women. And when we come back, we have the Haitian CEO, a.k.a. Herman Dulce, joining us. And we're going to be talking about business credit and why you need it if you're an entrepreneur. It's way up. Had a dream of living wealthy. And I don't mind sharing my wealth, dog. Getting you straight financially, mentally, and physically. This is Wealth Wednesday on Way Up with Angela Yee. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. And my Wealth Wednesday partner, Stacey Tisdale, is here. Happy Wealth Wednesdays, everybody. And we are taking you well. Way up because we have Herman Dolce. Yes. He goes by the Haitian CEO. He's an incredible entrepreneur who has taught entrepreneurs how to get money for their business. And that's that's the only reason we have you here. <laughs> so we are that, it's something I just me. had to, to <laughs> deal with, too, because a lot of times you're bootstrapping your business out of mm-hmm. your own pocket. You know, even figuring out how to make sure you get credit cards, making sure that you could pay your bills on time. Sometimes you don't have the cash on hand right. to be able to handle things. So I know for you, you helped a lot of your friends when you first got started. Yeah, when I first got into game, um, one of my taglines is success has receipts. So before I went out and went on social media, I had to have proof of concept. Mm-hmm. So I went to my friends and family me first and I was like hey you got good credit let me help you get these credit cards in your business name they was like in my business name I was like yeah well let me start an LLC up for you first mm-hmm. um, and then I helped them get approved because they had pretty good credit profiles and then I was able to share that on social media the proof of concept show those receipts and then I was trusted to be an expert in the space and that was seven years ago and it's been an interesting ride. It's a Wealth Wednesday. My partner Stacy Tisdale is here with me and so is the founder and CEO of Bella Sloan Enterprises and Bella Sloan Academy, Herman Dulce. That's what Herman does. He helps people leverage their credit. And you have to have good money. You have to have good personal credit. Yeah, talk right? about yes. that link. That's why credit is so important, right? Correct, right. So when people come to me and it's like, hey, I want to get money in my business name, right? Because business credit cards, those business loans are lines of credit. Of course, you know, they don't show up on your personal side. Mm-hmm. So you can max out the cards for your business deals and you're in the ball game. But in order to do that, the banks are going to look at your personal credit first because the banks, they know Herman Dulcie, right? Mm-hmm. They don't know my business, Bella Sloan Enterprises. So I have to vouch for my business so I'm like nah he's good they're gonna be like all right you vouching for this person you vouching for this business <laughs> absolutely so they look at my credit there's like if you're good with your credit then you're definitely gonna be good with your business's credit and you get way more money on the business side so this is why it's my passion when people are starting up their businesses go this way first to get the capital right put you in possession sometimes for the if you can't take out a loan right away because mm-hmm. sometimes you need to have like a certain amount of, of um, history correct right to have say your business operating for two years or you have to have made a certain amount of money mm-hmm. But being able to get a credit card is kind of like also being able to get a loan, but it's a, you know, you can use your personal credit against that, which is a valuable thing Mm -hmm. because there is nothing more stressful than when you're a business owner and you owe money to a right, lot of people right. and maybe sometimes it's bringing in goods that you can't get because you haven't paid on these yet but you don't have the money to pay because you're waiting for this person to pay you there's a lot that goes into running a business mm-hmm. and money coming in and going out in a timely fashion right 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 my best example that I say with is having different type of business partners I call my business credit cards my business partners mm-hmm. the first business partner anyone should have is their job okay so mm-hmm. before you go borrowing other people's money and messing up the bag have proof of concept first so my guy Storm Leroy um, he, he was one of my mentors. Yeah, he, he's been on here many times. That's my guy. <laughs> and and when he said it, I was like, yo, he's absolutely right. So the savings that I got after I paid my bills for my job, that's the money I invested into my business first. And it worked. Now I'm able to put gasoline on a proof of concept. And that's mm-hmm. when I go to my second business partners, which are American Express, Chase, etc. And then when your business blows up, you go to venture capitalists and you ask them for money too. All right, that's so a good three steps. Okay, yeah. I like that. Exactly. It's levels to the game. Herman Dulce is here. You also know him as the Haitian CEO. And we have more with him when we come back. It's way up. Had a dream of living wealthy. And I don't mind sharing my wealth, dog. Getting you straight financially, mentally, and physically. This is Wealth Wednesday on Way Up with Angela Yee. What's up? 
is Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. It is a Wealth Wednesday, and we are talking to Herman Dulce, a.k.a. the Haitian CEO. He is the founder and CEO of Bella Sloan Enterprises and Bella Sloan Academy, and he has great information on this Wealth Wednesday. I'm here with my Wealth Wednesday partner, Stacey Tisdale. Now, can you talk about how you even got into starting your own business with uh, Bella Sloan Academy? And, mm. and I know you had a, a regular day job. Yes. Okay. Yes. And, and then you You're saw a social worker. I was a social worker. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I ended up going to Italy for my baby moon with my wife Janelle. Right. Um, baby moon is a trip you take before your first kid comes. Because okay. I knew your life is never going to be the same after that. <laughs> so had a blast. Had a great time. We were there for like nine, ten days. Came back. I had no more vacation time. And I was telling my brother it was the best trip I've ever had. It was amazing. But now when Bella came, I couldn't spend any time with her because I had to go to work. And he said the, you know, the old Jay-Z line, unless you own your own, you'll never be free. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, what am I going to sell? What am I going to do? He's like, that credit thing that you do, like, he, you start charging people for that. And he was like, they're going to pay somebody. They might as well pay you. So yeah. that was the birth of Bella Stone Enterprises, where we started helping people with their credit, helping them get funding. But the Bella Stone Academy came into fruition when I realized um, there's a lot of adults that do not know or have access to this education at all. Mm-hmm. So we started a mentorship program where we started teaching people. We have amazing coaches. Shout out to Regine. Shout out to Coach Mike, who teach this to adults. This wonderful information about credit, leveraging it, starting businesses, investing. And now we're taking it to the next level where we're going to be teaching youth, children, college people, because it starts at a younger age. It's a Wealth Wednesday. My partner, Stacey Tisdale, is here with me, and so is the founder and CEO of Bella Sloan Enterprises and Bella Sloan Academy, Herman Dulce. You know, that's valuable because I feel like it's worth it. If it's going to save me money and make me money, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll pay for it. And, and you're not even yeah. expensive. I can't believe how inex- inexpensive right. Bella it's, Sloan Academy Bella Sloan is. Bella Sloan Academy is only $50 Bella Sloan a Bella Sloan Academy month. Okay. That's it. And we, yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> Bella Sloan Academy <laughs> I appreciate that. It's fifty dollars a month, and we meet every single Wednesday night for two to three hours, and we teach. Right. Um, what do because, you teach people? Um, so we teach. So the two main cores is helping them repair their credit, fixing their credit, establishing their credit. Because fixing your credit is one thing, but then you have to establish good credit also mm-hmm. for a period of time. Then we t- teach them how to set up their LLC property, their business property, because you just can't go into a bank and get money. You have to have a website, business phone number, business address, business email. You got to look pro. So we help them set that up. And then we help them get the funding for their businesses. And then we have different coaches come on week to week mm-hmm. to who are in different entrepreneurial spaces. I'm this is $50 a month. <laughs> $50 a month. Yes. BellaSloanAcademy.com. Dot com. It's no commitment. You can quit whenever you want. Mm-hmm. We would love to be a service. And you can go to BellaSloanLLC.com if you want your credit fixed or if you want some funding. We would love to be a service to you. And if you text Angela to 610-819-7627, you get five free ebooks on how to build business credit and structure your business as well. Free, free, free. We love free. We, we love free. Say that number again. There's no reason you can't afford that, yeah. okay? It's 610-819-7627. Just text Angela. Thank you so much. The Haitian can, CEO. We're gonna can I talk about one thing before we wrap oh, it sure, up? Of course. So I have two books coming out because we want to get these books in younger kids' hands. Bella Bill's Business Credit. Mm-hmm. Um, and we have another one called, for my second daughter, Olivia, The ABCs of Credit. Yeah, Olivia needs hers, too. Olivia yeah. needs one, too. Bella's um, and then that book is really good because A is for Apple, B is for um, balance, C is for credit. Because we want to get this information into younger hands as soon as possible. Mm-hmm. We'd love to leave a couple copies for you guys. Oh, I love that. Well, thank, thank you, you so, so much, much for having me, Angela. I appreciate it. Stacy. it's so been a pleasure. Being here. We appreciate it. Happy Wealth Wednesdays, everybody. All right, you can watch that full interview on my YouTube channel, Way Up With Ye. And when we come back, of course, y'all have the last word. Pick up the phone. Tap in. Tap in to get your voice heard. What the word is. Here's the last word on Way Up with Angela Yee. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. Jasmine Brand is here. Mm-hmm. We have fallen, but we are going to get up, Jasmine. <laughs> We've eaten a lot, Angela. Yes. Look, before Jasmine came to New York mm-hmm. this week, we were like, we're going to... Um, do two days? <laughs> yeah, we're going to do workout. Mm-hmm. We didn't work out once. But we did walk a lot. We did walk a lot. Mm-hmm. We said we were going to um, detox. Mm-hmm. We had a juice this morning. With tequila. No kidding. <laughs> but um, <laughs> we ate a lot. We did. But thank you to everyone who fed us we appreciate it yes girl. you know so just look the other way if you see us yeah just don't, don't at, mind our, our you know St. Our Thomas Carnival. i'm excited for that though yeah. but again thank you for this wealth wednesday to herman dulce for joining us the haitian ceo i'm over here trying to get my businesses together and it is not easy at and all and i yeah. have never done business credit or had a business credit card but now i'm going to do that okay i actually submitted my application already so thank <laughs> okay. you for
for that. When we do this show, it's not just for you, it's for me too. Just so <laughs> right. everyone literally. listening knows, it really is literally things that I need help with too. Yeah. I can't be having rich people arguments like Drake and Rick Ross. <laughs> okay, I'm over here upset about Red Lobster closing. Same. Um, but again, you guys have a great day. And like I said, this is your show and you have the last word. Hey, Angela, I want to shout a lot on my wife, Athena. She is retiring from 23 years of active duty service in the world's greatest Air Force. We truly appreciate you, honey. Um, Josh, our family is just amazed by your accomplishments. Uh, you set the standard for us and our daughter, Ayan, and our son, Joe. Truly appreciate you and thank you, babe. We love you. Hi, I just want to have a confession that I've been involved with a married man for 27 years, but I don't want this man to leave his wife. Going way up, turn up, turn up. with Angela Yee.